50 pound Manjaro weight loss. Woo! What happens with a weight stall on Manjaro? Ah, we're going to talk about that coming up next. Have you ever had a Manjaro weight stall? We're going to answer that too all in today's video. While we do a get ready with me, I'm going to do my makeup and my hair and getting ready to go on Amazon Live for one of my shows. And we're going to talk about my 50 pound weight loss and having a weight loss stall with that victory. This is the first time I've announced here on YouTube my 50 pound weight loss. And I'm very excited to share with you what has helped with that 50 pound Manjaro weight loss. And then also, what did I do to get out of a uh, weight stall with Manjaro, a weight loss stall with Manjaro? So let's dive in. Um, first, all of the links I'm going to be talking about are going to be in the description link below. I'm going to go ahead and put on my favorite lip mask. This I'm obsessed with. They are so good. It's Lange. I will link it down below. You, if you get crusty lips like I do, like dry lips, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. I bought it in, this is Peaches, 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 but they also do have it in Berry and a bunch of other colors. Um, and make sure down below uh, for our free resource, I've got my free Manjaro Weight Loss Success Checklist Two, a free 125 protein ideas for Manjaro. If you're like, I need protein, what do I eat? I got you covered, boo, down below. Three, my Manjaro Snacks show, where I talk about if you just want little snacks in between, if those food cravings start to happen in, again, what do you do for snacks that are protein? That's number three. And number four, free resource for you, is going to be my Manjaro Side Effects show that I did talking on my Amazon Live show about side effects, and then the solutions for those two. That will all be linked down below. Make sure you stay till the end. I do have a surprise for you that you may not expect what I'm going to say, it may be, it may be a little controversial. You may not I, I expect that I'm going to say this, so stay till the end. Okay, let's dive in. If you're not losing weight and you're having a weight loss stall, I'm going to go ahead and put on, by the way, my ginseng essence water. Um, just, I don't know, five drops. We're going to put that on. All of these beauty products, again, the Amazon finds will be linked down below for my Amazon live shows. Oh, I'm supposed to pat. I'm not supposed to rub. When I have my weight stall, it's quite frustrating. I understand. I feel you, my brothers and sisters out there, if you're like, I feel like I'm doing everything right. Um, I feel like I'm eating the right things. And that's the first thing I say is if you're having a weight stall, take an inventory of what you're eating, right? Like, do you think you're eating the cleanest possible food? Next up, I'm going to do some eye cream. That was my first one. If I took self-honest appraisal, taking emotion out of the equation, there's no emotion with food. I don't need to make it good or bad. I don't need to make an emotional decision on it. Like simply taking a non-emotional, because for me, usually food has been emotional and I'm breaking that tie to that emotion and I'm healing that as I go through this Manjaro weight loss journey. Manjaro, Manjaro, I keep saying, it. people are like, you've lost 50 pounds and you can't even say it right. Oh, the trolls came out for me on the wrong wordage. So Manjaro, I'm just going to say it like extra. <laughs> extra sass today. Um, so take an honest inventory. Literally, take an honest inventory. We're going to put the best-selling snail mucin up next. People get grossed out by this, but honestly, it is makes your skin brighter. Makes your skin brighter. So take an honest inventory. That's number one. I took an honest inventory and I'm like, yeah, there were some sloppy things I was eating. Out of that, I also want to say this didn't happen this weight loss go around, but previous weight loss go arounds. I had shared with you guys about liquid IV, about how much sugar was in it. And a dear friend of mine, if David's watching, love you, David. And David's one of my dear friends. And David was like, Elizabeth, there's so much sugar in that liquid IV. You may want to look at the label. And he said it in such a gentle, kind, loving way. So I want to say it in a gentle, kind, loving way. Look at some of the products you're ingesting's labels. I assumed because everybody was drinking liquid IV that it was clean. My friends, it was dramatically spiking my sugars and it was not. That was the cause of one of my weight loss stalls, not this most recent one. This most recent weight, Manjaro weight loss stall I'll talk about in a minute was a result. Um, that one was a result of liquid IV. So I switched over to Element Electrolytes. They have been very gracious to give the Countess of Shopping community a free sample pack um, if you buy any of their electrolytes. And I have new tumblers. That's number two is water. I've been really focusing on my um, Element Electrolytes and water. I got a new tumbler. You guys know I'm obsessed with Stanley. And I have 40 ounce tumblers. Now I have Stanley, but if you don't want to pay $35 to 60 bucks for a Stanley. I have two of those. I just bought a third. Don't tell the count <laughs> because I love them and I love the straws and I love they're easy to clean. I bought another one that was on sale. It was a 40 ounce tumbler. That one was like 20 bucks. I will link that one. It's a faux Stanley down below or it's a Stanley inspired, I should say, but it has a silicone straw and the silicone straw was making me 
have gag reflex. Like I'm very sensitive to texture. And so this one is a faux Stanley. The straw is different, but it still has where it's not spilling. And I, I just have water in there. So I will link this third one down below. Mm. I love these because the cup holder fits in while I'm driving and doing mom duties. So that's my next number two is, are you drinking enough water? If you need more water, get one of these tumblers. It's worth the $25 for the faux Stanley. For the real Stanley, I couldn't have imagined paying 45 bucks for a 40 ounce tumbler. I said that's stupid. But then I here I am, I bought three. And but guess who's drinking her water? Guess who's drinking her water? And I could tell, do you know how I could tell? My skin was changing. It was like my skin was feeling differently. It was because of water. Speaking of skin up next, I'm gonna put on my vitamin E vitalizing sunscreen. Um so number two, if you're having a Majero weight stall, that weight stall could be because you're not drinking enough water. Or are you drinking too many packets? Like I love Element Electrolytes. I'll have one to two. I'll have two like the day before I take my shot. But maybe I don't need two. Maybe I just need one. Maybe I just need water for the other part. And the electrolytes dramatically help if you're working out, if you're sweating a ton, or for me, just the body aches that I get, it really does help me with the magnesium, sodium, and potassium. It really, really, truly does help with that. And if you're having body aches, get that free element down below. It's it's with any purchase, even if you buy like the smallest pack possible, they still give you, or the biggest, they still give you that free thing with my code down below the website. It was really sweet that they did that for us. Um, so I want to encourage you as your water right and tight, particularly as it gets hotter outside, boo, you need to drink water. <laughs> you need to drink water. Y'all know I am really against ozempic face <laughs> and ozempic neck. So I have, you guys know I test products. Um, and so I bought this one cause it's my favorite loose skin tightening brand. If you don't have my loose skin tightening brand, I always say it's not a miracle worker. I have two that I'm obsessed with. I will link them down below for loose skin from my 50 pound weight loss. Yes, I have loose skin. Um, I guess I do do intermittent fasting. And yes, I'm trying to get back into weight training. Um, so I bought this brand because it's my favorite brand for their body stuff. It's not my favorite. It was very expensive. So this one is still my favorite. Significantly cheaper. You can get it scented or unscented. I have the lemon verbena, which I'm obsessed with. And the price on it's awesome. And you get weight. This is actually more ounces than this. And this is like the Zsa Zsa expensive one. So I'll link that down below. If you're looking to get a neck firming cream, I'm obsessed. I, li I love it so much. Um... I'm like, no more gobble gobble for me. <laughs> Something unexpected I'm gonna share with you guys because, but we're gonna save that till the end. Up next, I'm actually bought the Gucci um, Serum de Beauté. It's basically a silk priming serum. I wanted to test it and see. I love the way it smells. I have no idea the effectiveness or not, but you guys, I love me some Gucci. So I wanted to test it and see if it night, or I'll link it down below if you wanna test it. It smells really good. It smells kind of like rose. I should not have put that on though after I did my lemon verbena because now all I do is smell lemon. It drowned it out the rose. Let me just sniff it for a minute. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. Um, up next, I'm going to do my primer. This one also has SPF in it too for um, bring on the SPF for me, honey. Number three, for a weight loss stall with Manjaro. Manjaro. I got to make sure I'm saying jar, not jar. Manjaro. I know it's driving people nuts as people have told me over and over. Got the memo. Um, decluttering. That has been one of the things I have been working on. I've been talking about it in um, our paid group, which I'll talk about later. Um, my decluttering that I'm doing. So I'm trying to like declutter so I can mentally focus in on this, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute, more about that mental focus. But what has been helping me with the mindset shift through that weight stall with Manjaro was two methods of tracking. One is a scale, one that has muscle mass tracking. If you're not tracking muscle mass, I want to encourage you to track in addition to your weight, muscle mass. I have a very inexpensive one. It's under 20 bucks and it syncs with this. I'm not sponsored by them. I bought these with my own money. I will link them down below. There's two get the scale and then get the matching smart body tape measurement my hands are covered in um, foundation so I'm going to put this on real fast and then I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'll take it out of the box basically what it does is it measures you can use it as a unit of measurement but it tracks in your phone so you don't have to bobble around like looking for paper it will all track it in one app your weight with your body mass measurements on there and it will also track this smart tape measuring. So it's literally um, 
like if you want to measure your thighs, your waist, your hips. I encourage that. So when you do have a weight stall, you're not like, oh, I'm a piece of whatever the word is that you would insert if you think that. Hopefully you don't think that. If you do think those thoughts, we're going to talk about that here in a little bit. But um, it's helpful for a non-emotional data-driven decision. If you, I mean, get some data up in there. Get some data up in there. Why am I having a weight loss stall? If it's been for a week, two weeks, three weeks, I want you to start being a data scientist to figure out why. And if you haven't had a blood panel done recently, that's always my first thing I say is, when was the last time you had a blood panel? As I say that, my paid group member called me out yesterday. I love you so much, Jill, for being like, Elizabeth, did you get your blood panel? And I was like, no, I'm not going to get it before. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. And there's a reason why I'm waiting a little bit longer. Let me go wash my hands and we'll continue that thought. So going back to that non-emotional data-driven decision, having these two methods of tracking are very helpful when you hit a weight stall. Not if, when. We know that that is going to happen along our weight loss journey. So don't go to the place and the mindset of, oh, this is not going to work for me. Oh, no, no. Like, know that it's going to happen on your journey. You are not a wackadoodle for having a weight loss stall. If it continues past three weeks, then that's where I want you to start to looking at it like Inspector Clouseau, Inspector Gadget, go, go Gadget Arms, and figure out from a data standpoint, what could it possibly be? I'm gonna put back on my little lip mask because I'm obsessed with it. So this is what it looks like to help give you more data. It's the coolest thing. We're gonna turn it on and then you can measure and you can measure like, okay, I'm gonna measure my neck, my arms, my waist. I love to measure my little skinniest part here. I don't wanna show you guys, delete. I don't want to show my friends. You guys cannot see. We're not that good. We're friends, but not that good of friends that you can see my specific weight or my measurements. But it will show you the number right there. It's under 20 bucks. The scale's under 20 bucks. It's well worth the tools on there to track it. If you can't afford that 20 bucks, I totally respect and understand that. Then get a tape measure out of your toolbox and then paper track it. But this, it syncs to the app on your phone with the weight scale all in one place, which I am obsessed with. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray to set in my foundation. This is new. I'm trying it. We're going to see if I like it. I don't know. Okay. Um... So that's tip number three for you. So we said um, using the unit of measurement, changing the, the measurement, water, um, and then we're gonna talk about, I talked about decluttering and I have a book with that on Audible that my spiritual mentor recommended for me and I'm excited about it. It's called, it's about hurried life syndrome. Basically where you're running, 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 very high achieving and performance driven people like myself. That is, I love that. I love running, 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 but analyzing that in terms of my weight loss, I can't run and run and run and run and run on my weight loss. The shot is not, Majero shot and Majero injection is not allowing me to do that. Coping tool. <laughs> so I'm having to heal some parts of that. This book, I'm very excited. My spiritual mentor, and this is, I always like to say that I, I, I have a paid encouragement group and a free encouragement group, but all are welcome at both tables at the Countess of Shopping Community. Um, but how can I give encouragement if I'm not personally getting encouraged? So I do have a paid, co like I have my own paid stuff that I'm doing <laughs> too. And so my spiritual mentor had recommended this to me. So I'm going to encourage you guys to, I'll put the audible link down below. I'm finding it easier to listen to things as I am decluttering and doing my chores that this book is going to be really, really helpful. So that'll be linked in the description link below. This is where the weight stall comes in um, that I had wanted to tell you that's somewhat controversial. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not what you're expecting me to say, but maybe it, maybe it is, um, that you have to change your brain on this weight loss journey. Even with a weight stall, I always ask and find it interesting for myself and for others. Um, what are you saying to yourself with the mindset as the weight stall is going? Are you thinking if there's something wrong with you? And looking at like, like from a wounded place of something's wrong with me, or is it coming from, I'm going to figure this out. I always get solutions. God has always got me. God's not going to drop me through this. I'm not deficient. There's nothing like, there may be something medically that needs to be looked at, which is why I encourage blood panels, but there's nothing wrong with you. Meaning like you as a human being, like you as a person, something wrong with you. 
if your brain is going to that place, which mine sometimes does, if I'm honest, I, that is for me a symptom of a deeper underlying healing that needs to occur. Because for me, what I'm finding is to sustain, you guys have seen me here the last five and a half years on YouTube, to sustain this weight loss, my brain's going to have to change. My mindset's going to have to change. My heart's going to have to change. My spirituality, because that's my belief system, is also going to have to change. I am going to have to change for this body to change. Because if not, I'm going to default back into old coping mechanisms, old neuro pathways in my brain. My brain literally has to change and make new neuro pathways with it in order to have success of where I want to go. That is part of it. And I can't change my brain if I'm continuously dealing with unhealed trauma. And for me, I've had to go seek a therapist and a spiritual advisor. And I am rallying and uh, I love this. One of our incredible uh, paid group members says, I'm establishing a dream team for myself, for my health. And I was like, I love that. I want to use that. So thank you to the group member. I love you. I love that you said that because um, I think that that's true. However you choose to do that, and maybe you can't afford a dream team, but you can afford books and audios for free from the library. Maybe you can't afford that, but you can get these teachings that are on YouTube or other things to help change the brain, to help create those new neural pathways, which are like trees, branches off of a tree in our brains. Literally, you can change your brain. You can change your brain. You can change what's going on. In addition to having this incredible, amazing blessing of science that is so incredibly helpful to help prevent the mind effery, the food shatter, all that comes with it and the gifts that Manjaro, or if you're doing Wegovi or Ozempic or compounds or any of that good stuff brings. So what's happened to me on my weight loss stall, I was noticing what I was saying to myself. And when I started to realize, yes, some of it was, um, I was eating a little bit sloppier, but also I changed where I did my Manjaro injection. <laughs> You need to, and it says in the instructions, change locations and rotate every single time. If you are not doing that, if you're doing your stomach, 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 that could be a weight loss stall. Have you done the back of your arm? I did not want to do the back of my arm because it also says in the Manjaro instructions to have someone else do it for you. Because <laughs> I did it to myself and I, I it hurt and I, I, I didn't feel anything that week when I did that. That was several months back. Um, I didn't feel anything that week. Really, like in terms of like food chatter and stuff like that, because I think I put it in the wrong spot. And so I had my husband do it. And man, I did not eat for 48 hours. Some people that would freak out, that doesn't freak me out because I'm used to intermittent fasting and fasting. I'm like, my body is telling me it does not want to eat. I'm not going to force feed myself. When I did eat, I made dang sure it was nutritious, healthy, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, proteins, really, really helpful, nourishing food. So when I did eat, my body was like, amen, amen, amen. I'm going to get some water and electrolytes. My body was super happy about it. When I did end up eating that I made a really, really good food choice. Looking at those unhealed traumas, why are you snacking all the time? I had snacks earlier that I mentioned my free snack show, but I think that that's different if it's you're on the last day of your half life dose on day six and day seven or half life. Um, and you're, you're five, right? Like you're going to have those less, um, fullness usually, not always, but usually less full full, depending on where you are in your shot cycle too. Like how many shots you've taken. If you just try to it up, things like that. Um, that having a snack there, I think is totally appropriate in between meals, like really, really healthful and nutritious meals, which is why I love that snack show that I have that's linked down below um, on my Amazon live show talking about quick, easy snacks. Or if you're going to car pickup line, we also have to be adaptable to real life here. Uh, like I don't live a Puritan lifestyle. I'm a mom and I want to be actively involved with my kid. And sometimes he has sports and sometimes he has school stuff. And that's just not conducive sometimes to um, cooking all this stuff. It's just, it's just not. So what I'm trying to say and get at is if it's unnecessary snacking though, for example, for me, I realized I was and that I had to go talk to my therapist about and a whole bunch of unhealed bleh came out. I was able to process that and heal that. And that is also when my weight loss stall stopped was because it wasn't the food. I, well, I do think, let me, let, let me take that back. I think that I was making unhealthy food choices like here and there, here and there. And that was leading to more calories eaten, thus not having the weight loss stall. But a lot of it was like trauma based stuff that needed to come out up and healed with a professional therapist, doctor. And 
that to me, who also is also subscribes to my belief system. Um, whoa, that hair is cuckoo crazy. She also subscribes to my belief system too. Of um, it weaves in um, spirituality into that healing too, which I really appreciate for what I believe. I'm not, I'm not asking you to believe my belief system. Um, that needed to be healed, and that's one of the things I want to encourage you is if you're having a weight stall, are you engaging in unhealthy habits that you keep doing week after week after week? That may be unhealthy trauma that needs to be looked at with a professional. Some of the stuff I could not look at with a girlfriend or friend, I needed a professional. She has a doctor in her name because she could help me process this trauma without creating further trauma. Cause I have done that once with a friend and it made me have even more trauma. Like it pulled all this stuff out, but with no relief and with no relief, that's when I go back into old coping mechanism, which is food, which Majoral, thank the Lord, for the most part, takes that away. But I can still, I have pushed past that in my Manjaro weight loss journey of where I've overeaten. And man, that does not feel good. Like to the point of making myself really, really sick. A couple times, multiple, not just once. I didn't learn the lesson once. <laughs> so when I notice this and I pay attention, if I'm engaging in unhealthy activities on my Manjaro weight loss journey, that for me is something I need to talk to my therapist about and process because there's stuff underneath there. I'm stuffing physically and literally that needs to unbe stuffed and that unstuffs the food. And then I can make proper, nutritious, healthy food choices. That maybe not what you want to hear right now. You may say, Elizabeth, I came here for your impeccable, beautiful choices of makeup. No, I'm just kidding. Just, that was a joke. That was to lighten the mood. No, but uh, you may not want it. That may not be the solution for you. It may be like, I just want a tactile learning of Margero injection, which I do have. That's in my playlist too. You don't want this like, oh, touchy-feely stuff. Here's what my last name is, Skordinsky, as in 100% Ukrainian. Russian is my husband's family. 100% Ukrainian. And um, the woo-woo, touchy-feely, like that, like... I look like a freak in some capacities because I see a therapist and I do these things, but here's what, I'm 50 pounds down. It's because it's the mental part for me. I know how to eat. I know what to do. You probably know what to do too. Or maybe you need to relearn that. Maybe you're like, I've gotten so scrambled with my unhealthy eating habits, which I have too, but at the core of it, I know what to eat, but I do need instruction from somebody, a professional who's used to working with Manjaro folks as a nutritionist. That's also a wonderful option too. I think that that's a great establishing a dream team for yourself. Um, if that is an option for you or doing more research that makes sense for you. Again, if I, I, I don't like to make financial barriers, I want to be very inclusive. If that is not an option to hire a nutritionist who is proficient in that and you're dealing with like, I don't know what to eat. Um, cause I don't claim to be a doctor or a therapist or nutritionist or any of that. I'm simply a friend giving friends advice, uh, not even advice. No, not that suggestions. I'm giving friends encouragement not advice. Like I don't like take it or leave it. <laughs> I don't ask you to subscribe to my, um, I do ask you to subscribe if you haven't already, but, um, I don't ask you to subscribe to like all of my things that I'm sharing. Let me go do my hair real fast. I got foundation in my hair, fiddle sticks. Um, but I do want you to look at if you're having a weight stall, are you in continuously engaging in food choices that you know? In your core, maybe consciously or subconsciously. Well, maybe consciously. I guess if it's subconscious, you probably don't know. But are you engaging in patterns that you're like, that is sabotaging me? Me eating those extra bites is sabotage that I had. What was it? Three weeks ago, two weeks ago, whatever that was. I'm bad with dates. If you haven't learned that, I'm, I'm not great with time, like dates and timelines and stuff. Like, I can barely remember my kid's birthday and I was there. <laughs> um, so I want to encourage you, maybe that's an option, that it's the mindset stuff. Because if you're continuously sabotaging yourself with this, for me, it does not come off. I have this amazing tool that helps prevent food chatter, that helps to make me full. It evens out the playing field. So I can then make these choices of what to eat properly. It's not a pass of, oh, I'm just going to lose weight magically, magically delicious like lucky charms. It's not lucky charms. It's, <clears throat> it's a tool for me that helps stop the food chatter. So then I can make proper choices. Am I going to make proper choices every time? No. Um, but when I'm not making those proper food choices for me, looking at why that is, this is Yves Saint Laurent's, um, which one is it? I'm obsessed with this one. It's, I think it's, ex I'm not expired, uh, discontinued. They have other ones though. This one's awesome. And I love it. So 
you've made it this far, you know, here at Countess of Shopping, I always have like a Marvel Easter egg at the end. If you don't know, now you know. And so in the chat, it's how I see who, like I see you. If you put in, it's gonna be flower emoji, any flower emoji you want, I'll know that you stay till the end. And it really helps me to get to know who's watching till the end and thus who is, like this is encouraging for you, right? So it helps me to get you know you better and hopefully for you to get to know me better um, along this journey, this Manjaro weight loss journey. Um, if you have not gotten my free resources, so we had 125 protein ideas that's listed down for free. Two was Manjaro weight loss success checklist. That is for free. Three is my Manjaro snacks show. That is down below. And number four is my Manjaro side effects show. That is also listed down below for you. And the last thing that I wanted to say is along those mindset change for me, I ended up buying three new outfits to feel pretty because I don't see myself the way I think that I am now. I see myself still at that 50 pounds mark previous. And my brain is still having a slower time to catch up of this is what I look like now. I'm down two pant sizes and my clothes are changing. Um, my sizes are changing. Um, so I bought myself three new outfits that are pretty, like really pretty ones for date night with my honey. I'll pop them up here. Hopefully I'll remember to edit that in. If I don't, I'll put them in the description link below. That will be a lock. If you're wanting to help your brain, you know, get start dressing a little bit differently for me. And I'm not asking again to expend a crazy amount of money. You can do that at the thrift store. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to, or pull stuff out of your closet that you love that maybe you pair differently with a new necklace or an old necklace. You just haven't worn it. But for me, I'm trying to dress less frumpy dumpy because normally I'm in sweats. It's like business on the top and then it's like complete sweats on the bottom. And I'm trying to dress a little bit differently to help change my brain. We'll see if that works. Check back, check back with me here if that, if that continues to, if that continues to, you know, be the case. But, um, 50 pound Majero weight loss, I wouldn't have thought back in January. When you saw that first video of me, like, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful, and I'm grateful for you all, too. The Countess of Shopping community is amazing. If you've made it this far, put a flower below. So I see you, and I, I always I pray over you. Whenever I see that, I say a little prayer for you, and I, like, bless each person's name, too, so know that you get extra love and intentional focus for me of, like, sending you good energy your way. Um, but be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings, because life is delicious. Where royal living meets real life. Mwah! Bye, my love. See you later. Next